Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll do another experiment and that is if we can shave with a steel ruler. On first glance that might seem stupid. Why would you choose a ruler to sharpen to a nice edge? But if you think about it, it actually makes a lot of sense. If I bend this cup in the square and then let go of it, you can see it springs back to its original shape. And that is because they are hardened and therefore made out of higher quality steel. They do that obviously because for a ruler or a square it's super important that it holds its shape and not bend after you toss it in a tool bag once with a bunch of other heavy stuff. So they make it out of very high quality steel and harden it. And that should mean that we can put a very nice edge on it and then try to shave with it. So without further ado, let's get right in. So now we are here at the grinding station. I got the Cossus belt I have on my workshop grinder and I think we're gonna do most of the work with this one because we have quite a lot of material to remove. I decided that I'm gonna sharpen this bottom side here. I think if you can hold on to it like this it's gonna be at least a tiny bit useful. And yeah, let's start right off. While I'm grinding here, let's talk a bit more about the steel. Because we are working with an already hardened piece here, we need to be very careful that we don't overheat it, otherwise it would just get soft. I do this by periodically touching it and when it gets uncomfortably hot, I cool it down with a wet piece of paper. If you see a blue or purple coloration on your steel, that means you already got too hot. In that case, you should use another part of the ruler for making a blade. Now we are done with the initial grind. I think it looks pretty good, the edge is pretty shiny and looks even and then we can go on to polishing it with the medium grit belt on the sharpener and I think I'm gonna pull back the edge a little bit further to give it a bit of extra sharpness. Now we are done with our machine edge. It looks very good, it is already very nice and shiny, but I think we are just gonna give it a little bit extra on this Japanese sharpening stone. I have to say I quite like this little experiment that we are doing here, because you can get these rulers or carpenter squares on pretty much every garage sale or flea market. They are usually quite rusty and you can't read the legend, so that means they are practically useless as a ruler and you can start using them as a knife. There's no reason why you couldn't make a little pocket knife out of it or a little knife for your lunch at work as a weekend project. Now let's just finish it off on the leather strap. We don't need a lot of pressure here because the ruler is very flexible anyway, so it wouldn't actually matter. We just need to get off the burr and polish the edge a little bit to get it to the razor sharpness that we want it to. Now we are done. It's a very nice looking edge. It's very, very shiny and nicely polished. So let's try it out if we can shave with it. Oh yes, that works very well. That doesn't even really pull out any hair. That's a very nice cutting blade. I like this. I like this project quite a lot. As I said before, probably you will have something like this rusting away in your shop. It's not useful anymore if you can't read the numbers. So why not turn it into a knife? So here we are in our, at the end of our little experiment. I, I thought this was going to work in the beginning because I know that these are hardened and so it would just make sense. But I also thought it would be interesting to show it to you guys that there are quite a lot of things where you can just make cheap knives out of, out of just stuff that you have lying around. Because you can just cut out 
a little uh, knife shape here, make yourself a handle with two handle scales or some paracord, doesn't really matter. And you can make a fun, small, usable knife out of it. If you have any other suggestions for materials I can try to sharpen, then just leave a comment. I'm very happy to try it out. Maybe we find some other stuff that we can reuse for knives. That was it for this video though. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, then consider leaving a like or subscribing. And then I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.